Hi everyone, I'd like to share with you today how I made this colorful uh, butterflies and let's hope I can manage to do something coherent because I'm up to my eyeballs in projects uh, right now and my you don't see the whole desk but it's messy with a lot of things so let's try <laughs> something so a uh, lots of uh, things to of course to do with the butterflies you can uh, use them in your art journal in a mixed media project this one has tiny magnets here so again another use for them and i'm move, moving them aside and there are all kinds of uh, ways to prepare them and we'll start with the basics so what I've done is I I've taken tracing paper now I to my amazement uh, this turned out to be vellum paper at least that's what I've seen in videos I just know it as tracing paper and I've used it uh, to make floor plans and it when uh, designing sets for the theater we are that's what we were uh, doing on bigger stuff but uh, on larger uh, paper the floor plans and the plans for the sets that's uh, before uh, everything was in uh, on con computer we w we were doing it by hand so tracing paper and it's uh, the the more heavy one so it's easier to work with and I'm just going to take one page out and what I'm going to use on it is uh, permanent uh, markers alcohol based permanent markers and all these are from my cheap store no brand but when we are talking permanent markers I'm talking like a uh, art line if you're looking for a brand um, there are a uh, lots of uh, permanent markers but uh, you need alcohol based so I'm going to uh, start s putting down paint from the permanent markers and I'm going for uh, lots and lots of color of course you can do whatever you like you can decide on blues or uh, purples whatever you feel like it I like I like it to be very colorful and I'm also um, overlapping between uh, I find that it responds uh, better when I'm splattering a alcohol on top which gives you the, this effect that you can see on the butterflies so I'm trying to be quick about it so it, uh, we'll have some coverage and I can show you how it works and let's take purple it doesn't matter how you put it on your page you can experiment with that, you can do whatever you want, you can do circles, you can do lines, whatever works for you. So for the demonstration this is enough. I'm going to take a alcohol and this is a 70%. For this project you don't need more than that but if you've got the 90% go for it and now with the fan brush I'm just splattering on top and you can already see the reaction 
before uh, going over and over I let it uh, settle for uh, like two seconds just to see uh, how it develops because I don't want to overdo it now if you want a, a larger pa pattern just uh, take any kind of a paintbrush like so dip it and just do touch wherever you want to have more uh, of these puddles don't know what to call these so you see I'm touching wherever I think it needs to and I can go again with the fan brush and splatter some more and if you uh, went overboard and splattered too much you can let it settle for a, like a minute take again the markers and go over and splatter again so it it can be saved so that's for this moving this aside here is another one that I've done with lots of color and from this I've uh, made my butterflies so let's move the permanent markers for now so <laughs> I can see what I'm doing and we've got this so this I'm going to let settle for a bit I don't want a uh, because the alcohol is still uh, reacting with the permanent markers almost completely dry but uh, nonetheless let it be so uh, now there are few ways to uh, make your butterflies if you've got any kind of punch then that's great just take the punch and you've got a butterfly taking it out don't have a punch you can fold it in, in, in anywhere in half take again a permanent marker or a pencil whatever and just draw the shape that you would like your butterfly to be like so I'm taking nail scissors they are a uh, better to use on small things and I'm using the curve of the scissors to my advantage a butterfly now I can also do the other side that's what's great about vellum or tracing paper it has transparency and you can see what you're doing and of course I can add whatever details I want on the butterfly like so so this is one way another one is to take if you've got a <laughs> if you've got butterfly stamps then of course you can stamp them and here is a one stamp I'm and use a permanent a uh, ink pad I'm uh, using memento tuxedo black stamping and let it be for a uh, uh, for a few uh, minutes because you don't want it to smear 
or be very careful when you are uh, cutting it out you don't want to touch it before it settles so again here is another butterfly I'm not being very fussy right now I just want to, to show you an example trying not to smear the ink so here is another butterfly now another tip about butterflies sometimes when you have got this kind of butterflies and you want to add details and you don't want to start drawing there is another way to go about it again if you've got stamps of uh, butterflies what you do let's see i just take i don't want a mess here so i'll just put it on top what you do if you want details and uh, you just get a bigger butterfly than what you've got and you stamp on it and it really doesn't matter where it goes it's just the impression that you've got details here we go and if I want to do something on this, I will take a bigger one, just to add details, really doesn't matter, like so. Now, moving this aside, just a few more things about the butterflies because I knew I wanted some of them to be with a magnet here and go on my fridge uh, what I've done is I don't have uh, the machine that laminates things <laughs> so what I've done is take uh, this kind of large uh, tape and went over them so what I'm going to do I'll show you what I've done I'm going to take now to punch a butterfly from this paper that I've done. Let's see. Here we go. Not enough space here. Now let's see. <laughs> okay, I think I found found it. Okay. So just taking a little bit of cello tape and I'm putting it like this, the adhesive is on top and I'm doing it very carefully placing my butterfly like so in the hopes that I won't have wrinkles and I, I've managed somehow without wrinkles so I'm leaving it be and I'm taking another piece because I want it in, enclosed in the cello tape and trying be careful about it here we go so now I can go and fussy cut it with uh, the nail scissors or I can uh, put it back in the punch and punch it uh, out again let's see I'm trying To be in place I 
Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. We've got a handmade laminated butterfly without a machine. So uh, here is my butterfly. Now, uh, again, you can add details if you want like the body of the butterfly to be more uh, prominent, then just go with a permanent pen and add details like so. And I can do also this. Go over the edges. Completely up to you. I can do dots with a nail polish and add all kind of sparkly things. Very, uh, well, the sky's the limit to the decoration you are putting on. And now what I, I and for the magnet, what I've done, uh, this is uh, the simplest magnets there are. I'm always getting them from all kinds of services and even with uh, pizza delivery. So what I've done is just take a piece like so and glue my butterfly here. Now again the only other thing is that I made a fold like so and so <laughs> just so I will have a nicer butterfly to stick on my fridge like like this but, and I'm just taking this is uh, again some uh, glue from my chip store by the way it smells it's like e6000 so it's very stinky but it does the job and here i've got the butterfly and just to finish the job and just to show you what i've uh, uh, talked about here is nail polish with gold glitter that i can just add some in more interest and sparkle to my butterfly of course now it, this needs to dry before I'm touching anything or doing anything but that's that's basically it now of course you don't have to uh, laminate uh, the butterflies you can use them as is and glue them uh, to your uh, art journals or uh, mixed media projects whatever you want to do so that's all of my uh, variations for this vellum uh, butterflies and all the options and how you can play with them and do fun stuff and beautiful <laughs> butterflies so i hope you liked it and thank you for watching and thank you for leaving me comment below i'll be seeing you in my next video bye for now